me you are living history. I am, sir. I am. The great Frederick Douglass. My I'm name assuming. is Frederick Douglass. Uh -huh. Yes, I was born February the 14th, 1817. The year after I died, they found out that in 18, after 18, 1896, they learned that I was born in 1818. You see, black people, Negroes, colored people, they didn't know when they were born. The slave master kept that away from them, so they wouldn't know anything about themselves. But out of all of that, I'm proud to say that I authored several books. I was the first U.S. Negro Marshal of Washington, D.C. I was nominated as the first Negro President of the United States. I was also nominated as the first Negro Vice President of the United States. This is what they don't tell us in the history classes. Indeed, sir. So Indeed. that keeps the division going. Yes, it does. It does. It's not done by accident. It's done intentionally. Yes. Thank you, sir. We thank you. Thank you. We represent the black men in the Army during the American Civil War. Their, their official name, United States Colored Troops. The other guys represent the Navy of the American Civil War. Approximately 25% of the United States Navy consists of the black men during the American Civil War. And that's why we have to teach history that's not in the average American history textbook. There's over 209,000 colored troops that fought in the war. Um, these colored troops will increase the manpower. Most of the regiments organized in the south. They will occupy most of the cities in the south. Um, they occupy the state capital, the Confederacy, which is Richmond. And some of those regiments will engage Robert Lee in a skirmish battle, force him to surrender to Appomattox. So the war is over, but battles are still going on. A lot of these regiments are still in service up until 1866. And then when they all busted out, they formed four new regiments, 9th and 10th Cavalry, 24th and 25th Infantry. They are Army regulars, and they sent out west, right there in the Air But during the Civil War, it's the Bureau of United States Color Troops. And those regiments that were sent west, the Indians would get the texture of their hair and related it to the fur or the buffalo's back and that's why they became known as the Buffalo Soldiers. They're also known as, as Walkalots because they were also known as Walkalots because their infantry was so persistent. They turn around and here they come. I also want to add, women also serve. There's nurse, spies, agents, and 400 at least women, maybe more, disguised as self soldiers that bought. So women warriors too. They were your first Navy nurses. You ever hear the? You ever hear the uh, saying, Red Rover, Red Rover, why don't you come over? Yeah. Well, the Red Rover was a hospital ship that these nurses served on. And the nurses were hired. Their contract. The, yeah, they had contracted. The Army, no, the Navy had nurses. The Army, yeah, five of them. The Army came and hired them away from the Navy. But after a while, the Navy wanted their nurses back. So the Navy went and got their nurses back, but they didn't hire them. They enlisted them. You do not walk away from them. And some said they were the first women to be enlisted in the American Navy. Black, and yes. The first women to draw a pension from the Navy. That's right. And these were five black nurses. I knew the niece of one of those nurses. She was from my hometown. Yes. Yeah.